Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and today I have a review and unboxing. Now this machine was sent to me by a company called X-Tool and this is the X-Tool D1 um, diode laser machine. Whew, it's a mouthful. This is a laser cutter or engraver that I was sent and I have the, the, you know, the privilege and the honor to show you how it works. I did want to go over some details with you. Um, so what's going to happen? I'll talk a little bit. I'm going to show you the machine, take you on a little tour of it, show you the software, and then I'll show you a few things that I was able to create and just, you know, I've had the machine about a week. Now I do have some notes because I don't want to miss anything. Um, so what I will definitely tell you is out of the box, it was pretty easy to assemble. It comes with all the pieces that you need to put it together. The one thing it doesn't come with is something to protect your tabletop. So I would definitely recommend getting something, putting down some foil, getting an aluminum pan from the Dollar Tree, whatever. You want to put something down but if you follow the directions and if you go to facebook there's a facebook group and there are some links below that i will send you to uh, their website on the directions that i followed to put it together but like i said it's pretty easy just a few screws and the laser itself now i will tell you this is a very highly accurate machine the um the laser spot technology is within 0.08 millimeter by 0.08 millimeter in accuracy. So it's, it is spot on. Um, it is a 10 watt machine. So most lasers are five watt. They use two laser heads to give us that 10 watt. Um, and what I'm being told is it's equivalent to a 15 watt uh, power of an ordinary diode machine. So you got some power here that you're working with. Um, it can cut 10 millimeters of wood. So cut completely through, not just burn the surface, cut through. And the fastest speed it can reach is 160 millimeters per second. So it goes pretty quick. And what you'll do, and I will show you when I go into the software, but you'll you can tweak all your settings. So maybe you want something to go slow and steady or you want something to go super fast so it doesn't overburn. All of that, you just really wanna do some testing and get yourself some pretty cheap wood. I went to the Dollar Tree and got these little panels of basswood, little squares, and I've been burning on those and practicing because you know you get six pieces for a dollar. Um, there's a rotary engraver that if you get the bundle, it's a, an attachment for it and it will cut your circular stainless steel or paint covered tumblers, cups, mugs, you can cut on glass. Um, you know, you just have to go find the directions for all of that. Um, also, so it comes with the, the, the rotary engraver raises up the, the product. So most laser engravers, you're you deal with however much space you have between the laser and the table. They have included eight risers, so you can lift this thing up higher off the table, and what that allows is for larger items to fit underneath so that you can engrave on them or do whatever it is that you want to do. So that is also part of the bundle. Um, like I said, there's a, there's numerous amounts of materials that you can cut off. And just off the top of my head, you can engrave stainless steel, you can burn into wood, you can do leather, you can do um, glass. So those are just a few. I mean, I haven't even do dove fully into this, but those are a few things that you can do. Um, it also, when it's running, it's very stable. It's on the table, it's not moving around a lot, which is fantastic because you don't want any wobbling. So it's it's a very stable machine. Even when the diode cutter is moving, you're not getting that motion. So everything, once lined up, it should burn perfectly. And also the biggest thing that I like is it's wireless. So once you have it set up, you can be on one side of the room working on a desk and have it running on another side of the room and you don't have to be connected via the wire. There's a little antenna and a wireless button you push and yeah, it just goes and you don't have to be sitting on top of it. I will say for safety's sake, you wear the glasses that are included, which do go on over my regular glasses. Um, you want ventilation. I've been using some small fans to blow it and I have a window open whenever I'm utilizing it because you are burning wood or your laser engraving into some you know different materials. 
Um, I think in the spring, this will find its way to my garage because I think that that will be a fantastic place for me to use it. But for now, it's winter here in Ohio. I have a window open and I have a fan that blows it out because I do smell a little bit of smoke in my house. Now, I will tell you also, this is the first time I've ever used a machine like this. And it, it was a little nerving. It was a little intimidating, but I did it. I got everything up and running and I will show you at the end the things that I was able to create. So hold on to your hat. I'm going to take you on a little tour of our X-Tool D1. All right, guys, this is the laser machine. I'm just giving you a quick overview of some of the things that came in the box. That is the rotary tool. It is a separate attachment. It does come with the bundle and the risers there. Those are your directions. Uh, safety goggles they even send along with you. And I just want to show you how sturdy this is. Now right there in the front, that button right there goes wireless for us. So that's how you would use that functionality and that's the antenna to help you um, reach your computer. All right, in this device, I'm showing you how you can raise and lower the laser head. Inside there is where the lasers are coming from and the fan is on top, which definitely helps. This little kickstand here, it gives you the perfect height for every item and then you lock it in place right there. So what you can do is raise and lower the kickstand here I'm showing you on this piece of wood that you just put the piece down, you unscrew the housing, lift it up, lower it, it sits, you screw it in tight, you lift up that little piece right there, and now you're at the perfect height to burn um, or engrave or cut or do whatever it is. Um, back over here again, the antenna. I just want to show you that one more time and the wireless piece and then over here is where you attach your power supply if you want to be wired if you don't have a laptop that's wireless you can totally plug in and it's also your power source right there um, I want to show you also how easy it slides back and forth on its axis and then it goes um, from side to side now we're going to take a look at the laser box basic. This is the program that goes with the X Tool D1. And I'm just kind of giving you a quick little overview of how simple it is to really utilize this piece. You can create uh, pictures, files. I did a screen grab here and then you can size it larger, smaller. It is in millimeters, so you'll want to, you know, get your conversions out. Um, this is setting the type of material that I might want to burn and it gives you the basic settings which all can be adjusted and like I said you definitely want to do some practicing with this software and now I'm pulling in and showing you how to outline it so let's say I wanted to cut this out and burn it you can do that um, I wouldn't suggest moving your cut piece but I wanted to show you that it turns purple when it's purple that means it's going to cut when it is brown or this orangey color that's burning so these are things you want to just kind of keep in mind and also you know if you're going to be cutting you definitely want to make sure you have something underneath your wood or it will cut right through your table I know these things. Um, up here, just some different options that you have. If you wanted to insert your, some fonts in here, instead of importing them, you can do that as well. I'm just gonna type some words to kind of just show you and you can size them larger, smaller. I mean, it's a very basic program, but it gets the job done. You can also import, and I will show you here at the end, pictures, like photographs to burn. I didn't do that here. I just wanted to keep it pretty basic for right now, but just showing you the different cuts that you can do on your wood, or you can engrave into your stainless steel. Um, I haven't tried glass yet, but I have seen other people who are doing um, glass etching with this which I think is pretty fantastic I haven't gotten too deep into that yet or the stainless steel mugs but like I said at the end I will be happy to show you a few things that I have created and I'm just showing you here this is what happens when you send it 
So I'm going to move that dot into the center. I like it there. What that tells me in the axis is where it's going to start, or that's the center of my item. So if, if I want to uh, frame it, because I highly recommend using that framing option. All right, friends, so I've taken you on the tour. I've given you all the specs. I kind of gave you a little low down on the laser box, which is the software. And I wanted to show you what I've made. One thing, when I was doing the showing you of the screen, I was talking about framing. What that refers to is it takes your item that you have laid down and it will move the laser head around to show you the cutting surface. That's what framing is. So you don't go cutting things off of your, your wood or your metal or whatever. It just helps you line things up. That's what they refer to as framing. Okay, so let's show you what I've made. This was my first product and it's just my crazy life. Um, I use a thicker font and what I did is I set it at 50% power and I ran over it twice. It seemed to have worked. This is just some basswood that I got at the Dollar Tree, six pieces for a dollar. But I want to try that. I don't think I did a bad job lining that up. So that was product number one, basic. Okay, they're all basic. The second thing I did is throw things around. On the same piece of wood, I imported a picture of Luna. Luna is Sarah's dog. And I adjusted in the program. I crisped it up a little bit with a light balance. And then... I just sent it through at the default settings and that's what it looks like. These are pillows. She's sitting on my couch. So I really feel like a picture with a lot of contrast would work great. Although I think this is pretty fantastic as well. And the fun thing is you can feel where it burns and don't be afraid that it does make some smoke, but you can feel it. So I'm going to seal this up and I'll just give it to her. Then I decided we needed to try this precise laser cutting that they're telling me about. So I imported a snowflake. And this is about, I would say, an inch and a half in diameter. And you can see through how precise it cut these little tiny, you could do buttons. And then this is what the wood looks like. That's the top, this is the back. Now there are some techniques where you could put like masking tape down or things like that. You just need to research and play a little bit with it. But I definitely wanted to show you how precise you can get something to cut out. And I think that is really neat. I might take my Dremel and drill a hole and make a necklace for Christmas, a little snowflake. Or you can make multiple, they could go bigger, smaller. And this took, I don't know, just a few minutes to cut out. And you can do multiple cuts. What you need to be careful about is over, overestimating your materials and burning. I mean, it burns, but like I might next time draw back a little bit on the power. But, so we have precision cutting in that same Dollar Tree. And then they sent along a stainless steel like dog collar. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see it. I tried to put Wellington's name in it and it engraved on it. Now I need to practice my lining up little things. It's a little hard to, to get things to line up, but yeah, this was just a font. It engraved it right on that metal. Like how fun is that? And this is a pretty good quality stainless steel. I didn't need to add anything to the surface to make it engrave. But I will tell you that I use underneath this and when I cut just a Dollar Tree tin tray and a cookie sheet, like a tin cookie sheet. And then I put a cookie rack on it when I did the laser cutting. And it did not mark that tray at all. So you definitely want to get the right materials. And a lot of this is just going to be hit or miss. Trial and error. There's a lot of trial and error. I definitely recommend joining the YouTube or the Facebook group for the X Tool D1 if you're going to get one of these for yourself um, because there's a lot of resources out there and they're pretty fantastic. And I will tell you, I will have all the links in the drop down box below. Then the last thing I did is I went to Ikea and I just got one of these, I think it was $7.99. 
it's some type of bamboo and something, but it's definitely a harder wood. And I was able to, in, to burn in my name. Now, on this one, again, I did basswood as the setting because that's the only wood option you have. And I went with 50% power, and, but I went over it twice. Now, as long as you don't touch anything. So you let it burn and it goes back to its home spot. And then you hit start again, it will burn exactly where it burned before. So you can get darker and darker. If you move it, it's gonna be very challenging to try to line it up again. You'll, I would say you're never gonna get it to line up perfectly. So if you look at it and you think it needs another go, run over it again. You can always add more color, but you can't take away if it starts scorching. So that is everything I made so far with my lovely X-Tool D1 diode laser machine. So I hope you enjoyed. If you're interested in getting one for yourself, there's a link below. Um, there's a lot of resources out there on their website showing you how to set these up, how to run them. Um, I would definitely say if you're interested in like a YouTube bit or YouTube, an Etsy business or something of that nature, like I'm thinking I'm going back to Ikea and a lot of my family are going to get personalized cutting boards for Christmas. And I will bring you along with me. So for now, I hope you enjoy and you have a great day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.